Hi! Welcome back! I'm here, I'm back from Hawaii, guys! Guys, today it's gonna be 110 degrees in Portland, Oregon. Uh, everybody's inside. Uh, we kept, we're keeping the pets indoors. Uh, it's right now it's 100, and the weather outside is, is really tough. So let me just welcome you all, guys. Today is June 27th, and I'm so happy to be back. It's been a minute, I think, since the beginning of the month. But I wanna welcome you all. I just wanna wait for uh, anyone to uh, to be online. And let's see, it's only one person. Hello. Could you please let me know if you can hear me, if you can see me fine. Uh, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna wait a few more minutes. Hi guys, welcome back. I'm happy to be back. So can you give me a, a sign? Can you, can you please write a comment to make sure that you can hear me and, and that you can see me? Hi, Shell. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the live stream, guys. So it's been a minute, you know. I was in Maui, Hawaii, with my husband. We spent there a beautiful week. Hi, Mirna. Hi, Fancy. Yes, guys. I'm wearing. I'm going all out for you guys. All my rings and my Louis belt that I got in, in Maui. Just, I love wearing this stuff. Anyway, guys, so I'm so happy to be back. You know, you don't know how much I miss you guys. I, I don't know if you are aware that I have another channel, Healthy Living with Michael. So so while we were in, in Maui, I uh, vlogged. So if you want to check the vlogs to see how, you know, how beautiful it is, go to my other channel. I have all the information, and then you can link, uh, link to it on the description box below, okay? So, guys, what's new with you? What's new? Well, what's new with me is that I've been testing a lot of fragrance oils for my candle line, you know? So I did these beautiful candles, as you can see here, uh, using soy bliss wax. But guys, let me tell you, I am hooked into that wax. Uh, it's giving me amazing results. I love it, you know, it's uh, the only bad thing is that you have to wait uh, to cure for two weeks. You know, but but I, what I do, guys, let me show you. Let me get one of the boxes in here. So, you know, I, I like to cure them in, in these boxes. So these are the boxes that these containers came in. So I save them all. So I just, after uh, the candle has been um, solidified, I just put them in the box. And this is how I cure them. So it so happens that I did this last last weekend. Uh, so, uh, so they've been curing for a week now. So I've been checking them out, you know, for the CT, of course. So, guys, the CT in this wax is amazing. Uh, it's so good because after four days, you can start smelling it. You know, you can start saying, uh, oh my God, it's amazing, guys. You know, I was, I've never been able to get this strong CT on any waxes that I have, you know? So it doesn't mean the other waxes are bad. It's just for me, this is working out great. Okay, oh, hi. Hi, Cindy. Yes, Meredith, Fancy, Myrna, Val, hi. So yeah, so these are four my candles formulations that I just finished creating uh, using different oils. So what I've been trying to do, guys, is because I know that the oils that I bought from uh, the candle maker store and the Oregon Trailers Super so Supply, uh, they're excellent. Uh, I just figured, you know what, let me just, I have so many fragrance oils that I got from the Wooden Week, from Candle Science, from the, uh, from the Flaming Candle, from Wellington Fragrance, from Candles, anyway, for, from everyone, okay? So this is some of the oils that I've been experimenting with. I have another tray in here. Look. I have another tray in here. Look. And I have a closet full of more oils. So what I'm trying to experiment, guys, is that, you know, I have so many oils from the Wooden Week Company, and everybody loves this. And so uh, I want to try to see if they work for me, okay? So what I did is I did special formulations on these candles using mostly Wooden Week uh, fragrance oils. And I have to say, guys, uh, they're beautiful. Uh, they're not as strong as the other ones that I, that I try, but I'm thinking, you know what? Not everybody wants uh, strong candles, you know? Some people like to have like a hint of the scent, you know? So 
So I'm thinking about that way, you know. So I'm thinking maybe that's what the wooden wick company fragrance oils are for, intended for. So uh, that's, you know, I'm just experimenting. And for this test, as you notice, I'm not using any wigs. I think you save more, uh, more time and money if you can just, you know, just make them wickless and just try experimenting with the wicking them um, separately. So any questions? Angel, hi. Hello, any questions for you guys? Anyway, okay, so what I'm doing guys is like, like I told you, you know, I'm, I'm creating different fragrance strips. So I'm doing separate formulas guys and I'm putting them into these uh, glass containers. This is 20 milliliter uh, glass that I got from, from Amazon. Let me, let me show you guys. So this is, so this is how they come. I think I already have 100 for me. So this is how they, yes. So this is what I do my, for my formulations. So what I like to do is, so I like to do the fragrance strips, you know, and then just uh, put them together in here with the name facing out, or outwards where I know what it is. And then I can just uh, refer to them in the future, you know. I uh, just yes, think all these candles are done with uh, soybean wax. I don't know if you watched my my previous video that I, that I posted this week. Uh, my presto pot in here, I empty all the PV600 and I melted it into containers and I put it, put it away with my, with my other wax that I have in there. I'm not gonna throw it away because, I mean, who knows in the future. So I'm gonna give you the link for the tubes uh, on the description box, okay guys? So wait for that. I think you may be able to see the link that I posted a couple of videos ago. If you go to the description boxes on, on a couple of videos ago, you're gonna see the link. But in the meantime, I'm gonna put it in at the end of this video, okay? Let's see, hi Leticia, welcome. So this is the way my setup works. So I have the, the cell phone on top in here and I have the, my MacBook in here. Uh, so yeah, yes, yes Cindy. I think people use this for matches too. So yeah. So these are the two different week series that I'm gonna be testing this this candle with. I wanna try and see if I have success using wooden wicks because I mean, a lot of people ask me, you know, and so I said, you know what, let me just give it a try. So let's, let me show you what I have in here. Okay, so I have my wooden wick selection in here. So I went to uh, the wooden wick company and I put in uh, the kind of wax that I was using and the diameter of the vessel. So it gave me two different alternatives. Let me see the paper, hold on. Okay, so for a quiet wick, you know, because the wooden wicks are very noisy. So I use the, uh, they, they recommended to use uh, the Whisper Booster wick. Uh, with the 0 .0 t, 0 0.03 series, and the size is 0 0.625. Let me see if I can find it, hold on. Okay, never mind. So this is, I'm, I'm gonna put the link below also. So these are the different uh, wooden wicks. This is if you don't want it to be too noisy, you know, like when they crackle. So I have, this is the, the booster one because it has this, this extra piece of wood in here. And also they recommend that if you want to hear the noise of the crackling, then and they recommend it to use the crackling booster wick from the 0 0.04 series at the width is 0.625, okay guys? And so these are the, the ones that are gonna make the most noise. So as you can see, they're darker. I don't know why they're darker, maybe it's a different wood. Guys, do you know why they're, they're darker? Why the quiet whispers, uh, why the quiet uh, wooden wicks are white and the other ones are kind of brownish? Maybe it's because they have an extra oil or something. I don't know, if you have an answer, can you please share with us? Yes. Also, Meredith, have you had success? 
Okay, so there are two different types of wood. Okay, so which Meredith with with a uh, wooden wick size do you prefer We're using soy blaze? Do you prefer the crackling or you prefer uh, the whisper? I mean, I prefer the whisper uh, because I get, uh, I don't know, it's, if I wanna hear a noise of wood burning, I'd rather be in front of a fireplace and not in front of a, a candle. Okay, so whisper, okay. So I'm gonna try the whispers first and let you know how I feel about it, you know? So what I'm gonna do is, uh, Someone sent me a beautiful email, one of you subscribers, uh, that I want to really, I'm so grateful, guys. So to my subscriber, maybe she's not subscribed, maybe it's a viewer, I don't know. Either way, I really appreciate uh, Tasha. Tasha, thank you so much for the email you sent me, you know, uh, giving me uh, very good uh, uh, tips on how to work with this, uh, with, the, with this wax, you know. Uh, so I'm gonna read you the email that she sent me. You know, I noticed that you say, you were using replacement oils for this round of testing because you didn't have enough of the original oils. And I said, yes, unfortunately, if these aren't the exact oils that you plan on using on your candles, on your blends, then the test will be a waste, absolutely. This is because if you change the blends, the blends back to the original oils, when you get more, you have to test them all over again. Yeah, I agree with you 100%. So what I did, guys, is... Uh, <clears throat> I did follow these candles following the testing that I did a couple of uh, weeks ago, you know, that I, that I showed you, you know. So I made four different testings using uh, different fragrance oils. Unfortunately, I don't have enough, I don't have more oil. So I decided to go for this formula and make them better. So that's what I did in here. So I have something to refer from, and this is, for me, it's much better than than this. So it's like an evolution of your testing, and that's the way I look at it. So the first candle, I'm doing this using different kinds of bases for my for my candle line. I wanna do a candle line that is gonna be woodsy. Woodsy uh, base. Oh my God. So, I'm gonna give you a, hint, a few hints. This one has a few, um, a hint of citrus. It has patchouli and it has a kind of wood. So this is beautiful on the CT. So I, I'm giving you, I'm not giving you away my formulation. I'm just giving you an idea of what's uh, the main ingredients so you can you know, get inspired by that. The next one is floral base. So in this one, I tried to use a rose oil uh, combined with a vanilla and a jasmine. Beautiful. The next one, it's sea salt base. I want you to feel like you're on vacation, on your wedding night, or you meet someone new at a disco, and you feel like you're going on vacation and you you feel like you are in a cruise. This one gives you the inspiration of the ocean, guys. The oceanic vibes, you know. And also, I put a little bit of a uh, mm, woodsiness. And again, a hint of vanilla. Beautiful. This one's gonna be a hit. The next candle. It's tobacco based. You all guys know, you all guys know that I love tobacco. Oh my God. I think this one's gonna be my biggest seller ever, guys. Uh, it has one of my favorite tobacco scents. A hint of amber and a hint of musk to make it more masculine, more sexy, you know, more like I'm here. That's 
what's in here. So I'm giving you a hint, my, my vibe that I want to give you uh, with my, my candles without giving you the formulations. So, okay, English Garden, thank you. So according to the Wood & Wick Company, Whisper Week should not be used alone. They should be used with Booster Weeks. Okay. Okay, so that's why, and I agree, you know what, 100%. I knew that this by themselves, the, uh, the whisper wigs were not strong enough. I've done so much testing using the plain whispers and the flame just psh, disappears. So that's why I'm using the boosters because I need that extra kick. Thank you, English Garden. Okay, guys, so let me just give you a recommendation on how to make a beautiful, uh, let's say, for example, the sea salt, the sea salt uh, kind of that I'm making in here. Just get inspired by something, get inspired by a vacation. I got inspired by my trip to Maui. So you take the main smell, the main aroma that you like, which is the, the sea, because we were in the ocean for seven days, beautiful. And then you just start uh, mixing oils to complement that, you know. Maybe you take a, a, another fragrance, another flower that you smelled when you, while you were there, you know. Uh, maybe plumeria, maybe rose, maybe uh, a wildflower. So start playing with that. You know, it's it's such rewarding to know that you're creating something uh, from not not from scratch, but you're mixing something, and it's gonna be like uh, your identity. You know, that's why I say, you know, don't give it away. Just create something beautiful, and people are gonna keep following you because you are the only one that makes this. So that's my recommendation for you. And I did a test candle for a friend of mine, uh, for my friend Myrna. And I have to tell you, Myrna, this one's gonna be on my candle line too. Uh, amazing. Amazing. And I'm gonna tell you that it's based on sage. A sage candle is always good to heal the soul to be um, bro broke down and relax and just uh, white sage. I love white sage. Okay, so that's my recommendation with you guys. Sea salt, yes. So guys, you have any questions? So I'm gonna keep reading. I'm gonna keep reading back from the email that I got from my uh, viewer, Tasha. Another way to save money, wax, fragrance oil, is to only do half a jar test. Very good idea. When initially testing your weak vessel combinations, only fill the jar up halfway and the wax uh, and the wax should reach a full melt pool in half the time. The candle will, for example, in half the time, the full candle will, ex will take one and a half hours to reach a full melt pool. Okay, once you find a weak, that works in the half jar test, you can make a full candle to test all the way through. This will save you a lot of wax on the long run. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Yes, Mirna, go girl. Okay, so it says, she's advising me again. Okay, I heard you say that you will be trying wooden wicks again. When conducting a wickless test, you need to prime the wood wicks with the wax you are using before you perform your wickless test. <clears throat> uh, regular cotton wicks already come coated in wax, but wooden wicks do not. An uncoated wooden wick can give you a false result while conducting your wax wickless test. To prime the wick, you can dip it on your soil with this wax or use a heat gun to moisten the wick with the wax from the candle and let it dry completely before you, wickless, uh, before you start uh, the test. Uh, that's what I'm planning to do. I'm, I'm planning to take a little bit of my uh, soy this wax. I'm going to make a little bit, and I'm going to soak them all before I put them on, on, on the candle. Thank you so much. I think it really helps because I, I've done so many wooden wick tests, guys. Um, they all fail. At the beginning, I think they're going to be wonderful and that they're going to work, but they never like it. Okay. Another hint. Another hint. Uh, yeah. Uh, with the wooden wicks, make sure you trim them to one eighth to a quarter of an inch above the wax or the flame will be too high and you also won't get an accurate result. 
Also, keep in mind, if you choose to use wooden wicks in your candle line, you have to put you have to put a pattern for the for them somewhere in your candle. Most of us do that in the warning label. This is true regardless of where you purchase your wooden wicks from from and and as all wooden wicks are patented by Lumitic Lum, uh, Lumitic. You can read more about it and she gives me a link to the Winnie Week company. So I'm gonna link this also. I know it's so hard for us candle makers, but try to wait the, two, the full two weeks cure time to conduct your weekless testing. This will be the most accurate time to test your candles and you can make informed decisions on what works and what doesn't. Okay, so I wanna really um, thank you, Tasha, for all this helpful information. You know, it's, I love it. And she also uh, is giving me uh, a link to the Hawthorne company. Uh, so I'm gonna put the link also below on the description box, okay? So yeah, guys, you know, it's, <clears throat> it's like, a, <clears throat> excuse me, let me just take some water. It's so dry in here. Chantel. I have a question for you. Have you been able to sell the, uh, the cannabis candles on any website? Uh, because I'm planning to do a marijuana candle. By the way, this is the best oil in the world. I heard that Etsy or Shopify will not sell any candles uh, if they're made with mar marijuana or cannabis. So I just want you guys to know that, okay? I didn't know that, so I'm planning to use this in a lot of these beauties because that's gonna get you in the mood to be romantic. So this is not really real marijuana. This is fragrance oil made with marijuana. I don't know how pure this is. Oh my God, guys. Oh my God. Beautiful. Just one whiff of this and make me happy. Yes! I must. And you know, I only use this for medicinal purposes. I think it's the best therapy in the world. Okay, good for you. And you know what, Chantel? Uh, I recommend that you don't put the main ingredient. So save your... Uh, secret ingredient and name it something else, okay? So just, that's the way around it, you know, it's, that's a tip that I'm giving you and to everyone who's planning to use this kind of oils. Hi Jacqueline, welcome. So guys, if you have any questions, and um, please give me likes. Uh, I want to grow my channel and I need likes and I only have six and would love to have 18, please. Okay, let's see. Okay, so let me see what else. So guys, so I placed an order for more fragrance oils that I'm planning to uh, play with, with using thought bleach wax. So until they get here, I don't want to make any more uh, testers because I wanna, I'm want to. i just looking forward to test new oils, you know, see. So let's see. I'm not gonna put, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna be using any leads on my candles. Uh, so far, I don't want to use any leaves. You know, it's, I don't know. I heard, I heard uh, that when you make leaves for these candles, guys, if you use a lot of, um, uh, let's say if it's, if it's, if you ship them and it gets too warm, uh, the oils, if you use paper, guys, uh, the oils uh, seep into the paper and it looks like you have like a, it's not pretty because it, it looks like moist you know, uh, in the oil uh, in the, on the tops. So that's why I keep that. I'm concentrating now more on the formulation, guys. As you all know, I'm still waiting for my candle, uh, for my trademark to go through. So I'm still waiting for them. Uh, regardless of what the trademark comes or not, I'm going to still name them uh, Candle Romance because that's the trademark that I'm applying. Hopefully it will get, uh, it will go through. 
So Chantel, what kind of paper do you use for your dust covers? Have you have any have you had any issues with the oil seeping through? Because I heard people saying that, you know, like Yeah, I, the leaves, if I put leaves, guys, for this, these don't come with leaves because this has like this beautiful uh, gold uh, rim in, in here. These are very heavy candles. They hold 12.1 12 12 ounces of uh, wax, but they, they feel expensive. They feel luxurious, so that's what I want to. Okay, let's see. So guys, you wanna share with us uh, any any successes that you have, any um, candle uh, success that you have, or any any testing that you want to share with us? Okay. So you got it from uh, from the Woody Week Company, the dust covers. Okay. Yes, English Garden. That's what I heard. The dust covers absorbing the oil. So I heard. Uh, I think I saw a posting from Jeff Stanley saying that uh, to use a kind of paper that is waxy paper, you know, I don't know what he meant. Yeah. So I'm still waiting for uh, Jeff Stanley's, uh, you know, he he launched uh, his own kind of company, I believe. Uh, so I ordered the LCS weeks from him. So I ordered the sampler pack, so they're still coming. So yes. Okay, so you are practicing for, with friends and family. Okay. Okay, guys, I want to share something with you. Uh, maybe this has nothing to do with candles, whatever, it, whatever it is. But I've noticed that uh, family could be your worst critic. You know, family uh, expect that you send them stuff for free. Uh, they don't. Family also. I mean, this has been my case. Like they don't, they believe that because you are uh, your family, you have to send them free stuff, you know? So um, every time that I'm trying to deal with that, I just try, to, what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm gonna tell, I'm just gonna send them a link to the website when I launch, you know? I say, you know, because you're my family, it doesn't give you, uh, I don't know, to me, it's like another customer. You know, I think it would, I would value more if I had a brother that is working on, on a candle business or any kind of business, you know? Uh, I wouldn't expect for him to give me anything free, you know, because he, you work so hard for this. So, you know, so don't feel bad about it, you know? if uh, Don't feel bad about saying no. And just, I'm gonna leave it at that because I don't want to <laughs> create more drama. Okay, guys, I need more likes, please. Okay, guys, do you have any questions? Okay, so Chantel says, uh, so she's using a, a paper that it's, I think it's wax paper that one she's using for that. Okay, I see. And I'm gonna be working on, on another video on labels, on designing labels, because I'm gonna, I'm gonna get back into designing my labels, guys, and uh, especially for this in here. I'm planning to use a square, a square label. Uh, I don't wanna use a round, I don't wanna use a, uh, I don't want to use a, how do you call it? Uh, rectangular. I just wanna use a square for this. I think it looks better. So hemp soy, uh, what is hemp soy? Is that an oil? Send me the information on where to get that hemp soy, please. Hemp soy, let me just let me just write it down. Hemp soy. Is that a wax? Wooden week? From Wooden Week Company? Okay. I'm not gonna get more wax, Chantel. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna uh, keep working on mine. 
I really appreciate, but I'm, I'm no, I spent already in a lot of money and you know, I'm just going to keep testing on my, on my, on my, on my candle line. I really want to focus on testing on my candle line from, from now on, you know, if I have any, uh, once I finish, once I finish with the, uh, my candle line formulations, then I'll think about uh, testing, uh, using that. Okay. So, but give me the information. Where is this? Uh, that wax is, is a wax, hemp soy wax. Is that from the wooden wick? What company sell this wax? Uh, wooden wick company? Yes. Okay. Okay. I, I'll think about it, you know, uh, but, but for now, like I told you, you know, I, I want to, uh, 39.95 plus shipping. I want to concentrate on my, on my candle line. Yes. Okay. So let's see what else I have to tell you guys. I guess that's it. Oh, uh, for, for the weeks that I'm going to be using, I'm going to be using CDM weeks. Guys, whoever, guys, do you, have you tested the soy bleaks using this? CDN? Because this is the wax that they recommend to use. CDNs, uh, I, I'm using number five for the, for the testers. So I'm planning to, I'm planning to double week on this candle thing here, uh, because, uh, in the past, when I try using one week, uh, it doesn't work. So you have to go double weeking on this on this vessel. So I'm gonna see uh, which one works and which one doesn't. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test using uh, let's see in here what they recommend. Okay, so let me read you about the Soy Bliss Wax. Our Soy Bliss is a crown jewel of container blends. Soy Bliss is easy to work with, delivers smooth tops, and the proof is in the pudding. Look, perfect tops, guys, perfect. For soy wax, this is perfection. It's soy with a hint. Remember, only a hint of food grade paraffin. Okay, this wax is a complex blend of soy waxes and a small amount of food grade paraffin. Truly one of a kind. Soy bliss makes candle making fun and easy. Soy bliss needs uh, needs small weeks. We, we recommend our CDN series and two weeks to cure for our development of hot throat. Okay, uh, we recommend heating slightly past 200 degrees Fahrenheit and adding fragrance oil and no lower no lower than 200 degrees. These higher temperatures help the wax and fragrance oils to bind. You will not burn off the fragrance oil regardless of splash point. You only need to stir your fragrance oil for about 20 seconds and pour it immediately. Reco a recommended pouring temperature is around 185 uh, Fahrenheit, although this wax can be poured hotter without issue. Uh, also, the fragrance load can accommodate a fragrance load of 10 to 12% with most fragrance oils. Please conduct your own testing to ensure candle safety as each fragrance oil may behave differently. Yes. So guys, uh, this, some of the fragrance oils that I tested guys, uh, wine and roses, a gardenia, and some of the patchouli guys, they, they throw so potent. It's beautiful, but you have to really like um, tweak the formulation and just go lower. I usually, when I try to test do testing, I use 10%, but I'm glad that I use the small containers because I only waste 1.6 ounces of wax. <sighs> Divine. Okay. Yes, uh, the soy bliss wax is sold out. I just I just saw that today. I'm sorry, guys. It's that's why I bought 90 pounds of wax. So 90 pounds should be enough enough for me to get me started, you know. 
to take me through the month uh, through uh yeah yes is that michael <laughs> hi angel okay guys any questions for me yes i agree with you guys with the, the family it's great when the family helps you out financially or 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 supportive you know and you know it's people understand you know it's like it's to put it in, in another way, you know, I am a hairstylist also, and you know, so so when I learned how to do hair color, and um, people wanted to come over here, and because they're family, they expected me to work on them without pain or without, uh, you know, I said no, 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 guy, sorry, guy, but you know, it's my it's my talent you're using, it's my my time, I need to get paid. So yes. Okay, guys, so if you don't have any questions, guys, I think I'm going to leave the uh, the live stream here because it's getting really hot in here, and I want to just... Okay, so English, she's, she's asking me, what week size do you use for my two-ounce travel size? So for this, I use CDN5. I use CDN5 for this. This one. But I, I, I wanna tell you guys that be very careful when you're burning these candles because this, oh my God, this, my friend Mary Jane, oh my God, oof. These candles, guys, they burn very fast. And for some reason, uh, I'm, I'm using stickers, uh, glue stickers in here. Uh, if you let it burn in for a long time and everything gets uh, melted a few times, the weak tend to slip out and move to the side. So be careful, guys, when you're using these kind of containers. Hola, Mari, ¿cómo estás? Uh, so I wouldn't use this as a travel candle unless you put something below, guys, and you always, you know, don't 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 leave it burning just by, by themselves, okay, guys? Make sure there's always someone in the room and you're always keeping a, an eye on that. That's why when I make these testers and I give this away to my uh, to people, to friends, to test for me, I always tell them, you know, I, I put a warning label at the bottom and I always tell them to make sure you're all, when you light up this candle, you can see the candle, don't walk away, you know, and just to be aware that this is a tester and these are very dangerous. So I wouldn't use this to trade with me on vacation because especially if you go put this on a, on a hotel room and you put it on the table, you know, and then you just have a couple of drinks, you know, and then you fall asleep and you leave the candle burning, you know, that could be a problem. So I wouldn't, personally, I don't want to take candles for me uh, on vacation because I want to avoid any problems. Okay, Jacqueline, you want to send it to me? Send it to my PO box. That is in the description box, okay? Uh, sh check it out at the end of the, actually, if you go to any of my videos, uh, guys, I have um, I have a PO box in Portland, uh, so if you wanna send me stuff, whatever, you can just send it to me over there. So just look on the description box um, to my mailing address, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you everyone for, for coming on today's vlog. I really appreciate it. Now I'm gonna go and cool off. I'm gonna, I have a mister in, in the backyard, you know, like they have on, uh, on the deserts, and it's mixed water. Uh, so I'm just gonna spend the day over there with my husband, okay? So take care of yourself, guys. I love you, and I'll see you next Sunday. And again, take care of yourself. Until the next one, bye-bye. Yes!